So today we're going to discover what is the basic syntax for writing HTML. Don't let this intimidate you, it's actually pretty simple. I'm in Text Wrangler right now. I encourage you to be in, Note, in either Text Wrangler or Notepad++, whatever you've got on your computer. And what we're going to do is we're just going to start writing an HTML page. I'm, I've got index.html selected here, and I'm going to get rid of this dummy text right now. The first thing we need to do is we need to get used to these keys, uh, the brackets. There's open and there's close. These keys are located on the, uh, the to the right of the M key. And get used to using these because you're going to use them a lot. Almost all the code inside an HTML page uses these keys. The first piece of code we're going to write is going to look like this. It starts with an exclamation mark. We write doc type, all in capital letters, um, then a space, and then HTML on lowercase letters, and then we close it like that. Okay. This is called the doc type declaration. And the reason you need this at the top of your HTML document is that this is what tells the web browser not only that you're using HTML, but what kind of HTML you're using. And I know it doesn't seem like there's that much information in this, um, but this is actually a, an agreed upon code that web browsers use to know that the HTML page that it is about to display is written in what's called the HTML5 language. And that's actually what we're going to be covering. Um, there's different flavors of HTML, um, HTML available. There's XHTML, there's different numbers and stuff like that. I'm not going to go through all that. We're just going to focus on learning the basics. HTML5 is actually um, uh, kind of the newest bleeding edge version of HTML. Um, it's, it's so new, it hasn't actually been completely uh, confirmed yet. Um, but it's just so much easier to write the doc type declaration for HTML5 that that's what we're going to do. Um, so there we go. That's the doc type declaration. Um, I, I can't really say anything other than just memorize it because it needs to go at the top of every HTML page that you write. Um, next, we the rest of our page is going to be made up of what's called opening and closing tags. And here I'm going to start by showing you what a tag looks like. Um, a tag, this would be an opening tag and this would be a closing tag. Um, there's no actual tag called tag. I'm just using this as an example. And then usually stuff goes here in the middle. Okay. Um, you don't need any spaces. Uh, in fact, it's better when you don't leave spaces. You just have your opening tag there and then you go ahead and start writing your text. And then once you're done, you have your closing tag. And for any of you, this might be, I might be dating myself here, but for any of you who maybe learned um, to use word processors back in the day when there weren't any graphical interfaces and you were or, or not really and you were using reveal codes I don't know there's probably a small percentage of you who remember that um, it's very similar to that concept where you're putting codes at the beginning and end of all your text on a web page um, so let's have a look at some of the basic tags you need to have on every single HTML page. The first one you need, um, and I'm going to go, whenever you type your tags, you should always type them in pairs. They always come in pairs with a couple minor exceptions, and I'll bring those up when, when the time comes. Um, but for now, just to see, just think tags come in pairs, okay? Um, the first and probably the most important tag is the HTML tag. And I know you're probably thinking, well, we already did that weird declaration up at the top. I know, I know, I know. This is a tag tag that you need to put at the beginning and ending of every single document. So the doc type declaration is not technically really a tag. It's kind of its own little thing up at the top. And then the HTML, HTML tag, that's what encloses everything, everything in your page. Everything goes inside there. Okay. Um, I'm actually going to just, I'm just uh, hitting return and pushing this down here um, because I want to explain to you that you don't actually need a HTML, like web browsers, when they're looking at your page, they ignore all the space, all the white space. Um, so you could have this much space, or you could have this much space. The web browser doesn't care. It's going to look at everything the same way. And so that kind of makes life a little simpler for you because you can actually space things out really nicely in a way that, you know, uh, makes it easy for you to write. Technically, you could have all this code all on one line, all at the same time. And it would make it impossible for us to understand, but um, makes no difference to the computer. The computer can read it all. Okay, so we've got our HTML tag, and I've written the opening and closing tag here. I'm going to push this down because the next tags that I need to show you are, uh, there's two tags, two tag pairs here. The first one is going to be called head, okay? And I'm actually going to erase the word everything because we don't actually want that in there. 
There we go. Okay, the first one is going to be called head, and I'm going to go ahead and write the next one, which is going to be called body. And notice I'm doing something interesting here. I'm doing what's called nesting tags. You see that? See how like head and head, open head and closed head, and open body and closed body are both nested inside the HTML tag? We're going to see a lot of that, okay? The important thing is you got to nest things in the right order, okay? When once you open a tag, you got to close it before you close any other tag. So they always have to I couldn't, you know, I couldn't close the HTML tag inside here and then close the body tag outside of it. It always has to, you know, open, close a tag first before you close the enclosing tag. Uh, does that make sense? I hope so. Um, okay, so you've got HTML is sort of enclosing everything and then you've got head and body. And I kind of explain this to my students. And I don't know if it's, I don't know, it might be weird, but I sort of, I, I, I tell them to envision an, like an alien from the planet HTML and this alien only has a head and a body. Okay, and if that helps you remember that when you're building an HTML page, you gotta have a head and you gotta have a body. Okay, and that's it. There's nothing else. I know, it's kind of weird. Um, these two tags have very specific purposes. The stuff that goes inside the head tag is all the administrative information about the page. It's not really going to get displayed on the page, okay? It's really just sort of stuff about the page. It's meta information. And, and think about that, right? Like It's like all the stuff in your head, okay? That's all really just inside. It's all your consciousness and everything. So I don't know if that helps or not, but just think of it as that's where we put all the administrative information. The body that's where we put the good stuff. That's where we put the text and the images and the videos and, and the layout and all that stuff goes inside the body. So they both play very different roles. Um, so I'm going to actually go ahead and type that out and say all the good stuff goes here. All right. And inside the head here, I'm going to go ahead and put our first um, another tag that we need that's very important to include. And it's called the title tag. And notice I'm nesting this one again, okay? And the title is the title of your web page. And this is going to show up, depending on the browser you're using, this is going to show up usually in the title bar. You know, you've probably seen that. You've been to a website and there's like a, the name of the website is, you know, Facebook or whatever. It's up in the in the title bar. That's what's going to show up in here. So let's go ahead and start. What, let's. This is the first content we're going to put on here. Um, we're writing a coming soon page. and I'm going to do a coming soon page for Robo Bunny Attack. So I'm going to type out Robo Bunny. Whoops, I'm spelling it wrong. Bunny. Ah, oh, I'm really spelling it wrong. Attack is coming soon. Okay, and this part and it's telling me that Robo Bunny Attack is is spelled incorrectly. Little do they know. Um, so this part is going to show up now. Now that I've put it between the title tags, that means it's going to show up in the web browser, but only in the, not actually in the browser itself, but in the title bar. It's a very special tag. And check out what I'm going to do. I'm actually going to tab this over. And the reason I'm doing this is just a visual reminder that I've got this item nested, sorry, this item here nested inside the head. That's all we're going to put in the head for now. We're going to come back to, the, to this in a few screencasts, but for now, that's all I'm going to put here. Okay, now let's look at the body. Okay, so um, the body is where all the good stuff is going to go. We're going to put the, the H1 or like the headers and the paragraphs and images and all sorts of good stuff inside there. Um, for now, I'm just going to leave this blank, okay? I'm going to go ahead and hit save, all right? And this is, by the way, it, you know, this is where it's a really good idea to get used to shortcuts. I'm on a Mac, so the shortcut for save is just Command S. So you might see me, you know, doing that very quickly. I apologize for going too quickly, but it's just once you get used to those shortcuts, man, it, it really saves a lot of time. So, um, and so all the good stuff goes in there. I'm even going to um, tab that over, and you'll see how space, it'll, it'll kind of, demonstrate to you how the space doesn't matter. Web browsers don't pay attention to space. I could do this and then say, here is even more good stuff. And you'll see how the web browser is going to ignore all that space. Um, these are the essential parts, ignoring all the stuff I typed in here. Your doc type declaration, your HTML tag, your head tag, your body tag, and the title tag inside the head tag, and all nested in this order. This is the essential stuff you need to have in every single HTML page, okay? Um, I, 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 this is worth memorizing, honestly. Um, it's, it's, you know, I've been writing these so much that I, it's just something I just remember. If you're new, 
um, it's worth memorizing the order of this or just like create, you know, a page and save it as a blank template and then you can just cut and paste this and use this anytime you're writing a new web page. Um, but honestly, this, these are the basics. Everything else is, is decoration after this point. It's not that hard, is it, right? And here's another thing you'll notice, and you folks who are using Text Wrangler, as well as those of you who are using Notepad++, you probably notice, notice how this is in blue, okay, whereas this stuff is in black. This is one of the reasons I, I'm, I, you know, I, I was so adamant about you using uh, a proper text editor like Text Wrangler because software like Text Wrangler, Notepad++, they're built to help you write code. And this actually will color code the different parts of your code for you so that if you make a mistake like this, see how what I did there? I forgot the closing bracket. See what happens? All the colors go all wonky. This is purple and then this is blue and, and the, the Text Wrangler is like going, whoa, danger, danger. There's like a problem here. This, I don't think this is right. And so that's good, right? Because now you can say, hey, I think I screwed something up. And you go, oh yeah, I forgot to close that. Um, and, and here's the bad news. Forgetting a small thing like that, it's going to screw up your code. I know. Uh, so is this. If you do something like forget to close that, that's going to screw up your code. Um, accuracy counts. I, I don't know what, how else to tell you that. Um, you really need to be careful. Things like case, like lowercase and uppercase, that counts too. All this stuff here, it's case sensitive. Um, all tags have to be in lowercase. Um, so uh, the good news is if you're the type of person who's really good but paying attention to detail, this is going to be awesome. You're going to like, you're going to fly through this. If you're the type of person who's kind of, you know, maybe sort of a little reference, you know, that doesn't really pay a lot of close attention to detail, this might be a bit of a challenge for you. But hey, it's a good opportunity for you to get better at this. So it's all good. Okay. Last but not least, I've been talking to you about how to make this code, how to write it. And I'm going to go ahead and save that again. How do we see what this looks like? I mean, there's not much here, but I'm kind of curious as to how it looks like. Here's how we do it. I'm going to go back to this folder right here. We're going to open up the folder. And what I'm going to do, and there's multiple ways to do this, but I'm actually going to take this index.html file, and I'm going to drag it on top of, see down here, on top of the web browser I want to open it up in. So let's say I wanted to open this up in Firefox. I'm going to open this up like that, and there it is. This is my web page. And so see how, remember how, in fact, I'll switch over to Text Wrangler. See how right here in the title, we said Robo Bunny Attack is coming soon. I'm going to switch back to Firefox. There it is right up there. Okay. And it displays, and it also displays up here, actually. Um, it displays slightly differently in different browsers, um, which is a good, which is another reason why you want to test this out in various browsers. And then here's another thing. Here's the text that we put in here. It's kind of boring looking because we haven't, we haven't really done anything with it. Um, but notice how, the, hey, I, I put all this space here. Where did the space go? Web browsers are going to ignore that. Okay, you need to use different techniques to put space in on your web, on your web pages. And I'm going to show you how to do that. So that's all I have for now. Um, I hope that you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.